Sam, why did you become a prison officer? Why did I become a prison officer? Kevin Sobrolski, one of my friend's cousin, said to me, <laughs> said to me way back, well, he said it a few times over a few years, but about 1998, he started talking to me. He'd been in um, quite a long time. He loved it. He says, you'll love it. You know, you can talk to people, chat to people. You like your rugby, bit of rough and tumble, you'll love it. So he actually got me working in the forensic units, a couple of forensic units. They were in Nottingham and Mansfield, right? So this is about 1998. So he says to me, I've, I've got a bit of a job on side. I'm working in these forensic units, female only forensic units, which are, um, do you just call them mental hospitals in America? So he, he got me in the back door. Um, I love that job. Basically, I worked in two hotels, purposely built for hotels, which were changed into residential units for women. Um, about 20, 25 in each, and they had an upstairs and a downstairs. These women ranged in age from 18 to into the 70s. They'd been in the mental health system. They'd been to Rampton, which is a high security hospital. Some have been to Broadmoor, which is high security hospital. They've been to Ashworth, which is high security hospital. They'd done all that, you know, it was sort of like the last call. You know, people didn't want these extremely violent, uh, some horrendous self-harming. He got me working there, which I really loved. Um, and then he kept going on about prison, prison, prison. Job come up at Forest Bank private sector. He said to me, jump on that get your foot in the door and then, you know, as soon as you're in there, apply for public sector. So thanks, Kevin, for that. Would you recommend the profession? Right, would I recommend it? <laughs> I, I will t I will tell you what I I told someone on a, uh, a radio station because they said to me, you know, we had a bit of uh, to and fro in and they said, w w what, how, how would you... You know, what, what would you say to people about this job? So I said, well, if you read my book and you still want to do the job, then maybe you're in with a chance. <laughs> but the whole system, the whole system is very flawed. And where they need to start, they need to look at recruitment and they need to look at training. Because no amount of training uh, will ever prepare you for that job. You see an R that everyone does is brilliant, but... The, the training is it, pathetic, really. It's embarrassing. It might have been all right, you know, 20, 30 years ago when, you know, people were looking for a job and there were lots of experienced staff and that, but now, not so much. 